Hello, whoever's watching. Thanks for joining. I'd love to just share a mystical teaching by the Sefer Yetzirah. For those of you who don't know, Sefer Yetzirah is attributed to Avraham Avinu, and it's known as the Book of Formation because it deals extensively with the spherotic energies of the body and in the world, and also the mystical interpretations of the Hebrew letters. And one amazing teaching is it goes through 32 levels of wisdom, otherwise known as 32 paths of consciousness. And it outlines each path of consciousness and how you can connect to divinity on that level. Um, but what's amazing is that these 32 levels or paths of wisdom, the Kabbalists say, are actually paralleled in our body, which I absolutely love. So the 31 levels connect to the nerves that emanate from the spinal cord. And the 32nd level, they parallel it to the whole cranial nerve, the whole cranial nerve network, which there's 12 cranial nerves, but they kind of unify it as one um, mechanism working together. And, and these nerves have two purposes. First, it transmits messages from the brain to the body. And secondly, it carries sensations and senses from the body and informs the brain. And 32 is gematria lev. In Hebrew, this means heart. And we find that lev is really the central um, most experience that the Sefer Yetzirah talks about. Every mystical experience is known in the Sefer Yetzirah as the running of the heart. The Shrina, the divine, um, the feminine counterpart of divinity, is also known as the heart. And the Torah is, is considered the heart of the world. Um, and even if you look at the Torah, the very first word of the Torah, Bereshis, and the last word, Yisrael, the, the first and last letter spell out Lev. So I really believe that the central way to unlock these levels of wisdom is through the heart. And just like the nerves transmit those messages to and from the brain, the heart allows any wisdom information of the mind to integrate and settle into the body. And another very interesting thing is that the Torah uses the word nativot for paths. And it's not very common. Usually when um, the Torah speaks of a path, it is called derech. And the difference between derech and nativot is that derech is a public road with signs. And nativot is a highly personalized route. Um, so Sefer Yetzirah is teaching us that our road to these divine levels and these paths of wisdom are highly personal and we have to uncarve them ourselves. There might be a few signs, maybe we can learn from books and from teachers, but ultimately it is in our own um, avoda to carve our path and find, find these spiritual paths that are specifically designed for our soul. So I want to just do a short meditation. Um, leading up to Shavuos, I encourage you to practice this every single day because it's during the time before Shavuos that we count the Omer. And each week we rectify a sphera um, and allow that sphero to be balanced with the other ones. And it's interesting that we don't rectify or elevate the intellectual sphero. It's only the emotional sphero. And that's because when we can open our emotional selves, the wisdom just pours down. Um, so let's do this heart meditation together and then practice on your own until Matan Torah, which is the receiving of the Torah. And by the way, it's not just the Torah that we receive on Matan Torah. It's all wisdom for the entire year that we will receive, all clarity of mind, all intellectual novelties, creativity that we will re receive through the whole year. We get it 
in one big um, outpouring of love and, and gifts on Shavuot. And slowly throughout the year, we unpack it. It's revealed to us slowly, but it's on Matan Torah that it comes down. So we really want to be have our hearts wide open so that we can receive whatever is available to us. So let's just start by finding a comfortable spot, rolling the shoulders back and down the length of the back, soles of the feet on the earth, rooting us to this earth spot, feeling safe and secure beneath us. And then grow through the crown of the head. Soften the eyelids and temples, jawline, release. And just start to inhale and exhale, just like these nerves are running and returning. Our breath is like the angels running and returning up and down. and allow our minds to be present in this moment. So if you're still running to get here from chores this morning, from your travels, allow your mind to catch up to this moment. And then we'll simply bring the right hand onto the left side of the heart, the left hand onto the right. And we'll just start with some bilateral stimulation, activating the right and left heart spaces. We're really just entering into the wisdom of the heart, this palace that is so wide and so royal and so abundant. We often forget to return to this place and gaze from the world through our heart. So keep tapping and allow anything to be felt, anything that's coming up right now, maybe a physical sensation or an emotional sensation. Let it come and be felt, be heard. Keep tapping. Hmm. A few more like this. And then stop the tapping, just settle the hands and maybe massage where your fingertips are. Releasing any stuck emotion, any difficulty that you may have not given attention to before. Massage it out. Oftentimes, these experiences are stuck in physical sensations of the body. So we massage, we release, we heal through this palace of the heart. Mm. Maybe massage under those collarbones, the tops of the shoulders. Mm. And then we'll just bring both hands on top of each other on the heart. Gently bow the third eye towards the heart center. Just settle here for a moment, honoring your heart. This love, this shina that resides within us. Imagine your heart with each breath is growing as wide as the sky with openness and compassion, ready to receive all divine abundance, everything available in this moment. Our heart is like a big woven basket. And we'll exhale the hands down, open the eyes. And I encourage you to practice this every day until Shavuos um, so that we can really receive what Hashem is offering to us. Thank you for joining. Let me know how it goes. If you practice this, would love your feedback and insight. Um,
thanks for joining.